Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and in this video I'm going to explain what is CDS, what is CDM, what is their difference, they are not exactly the same and what are their differences. Let's check it out. Um, I have written two separate blog post uh, articles about CDS and CDM, but still I see many people incorrectly uh, refer to one instead of the other. Uh, so I thought better to explain it in a very short video. Uh, if you worked with Power BI and Power Platform, you have heard of one of these words probably, especially if you are using data flows or if you are using Power Apps and uh, things like that. So let's talk about these. Uh, what is uh, <clears throat> what is CDM? CDM stands for Common Data Model. is a framework, a structure of some tables, entities, that uh, doesn't have any data. It's like a template. It's just blank. A structure of tables with some columns in it. It is used to create a unified uh, data model experience across multiple applications. It's not storing data anywhere. It's just like a structure. It's like a metadata. On the other hand side, CDS uh, stands for Command Data Services, is a service provided, um, it first came as part of like Power Platform and Dynamics uh, systems as a database system that you can store data into this structure. This has more than just one database. It has uh, ability to do integration, some security around it and many other services but it stores the data that is like the main function of this and it creates kind of um, connection between Power Platform and Dynamics uh, services and products through this way. So this is not a structure, it is actually the data. It also includes the structure of that data. So to understand the difference, uh, there are a few uh, important things in these definitions that you need to understand. CDM is metadata structure for entities. CDM is not storing data itself. So if you hear some people saying that this data is stored in CDM, probably they mean the data is stored in CDM structure, which is uh, the structure of those entities and tables. If you use Power Platform, uh, or let's say Power BI data flows, this is an example of Power BI data flows, then if you use map to standard, then you can map it to a standard CDM, common data model entity, but the data is still stored behind the scene in Azure Data Lake storage or some other places, right? CDM doesn't include doesn't include the data, it's not a data storage system. Versus CDS, on the other hand side, is a data storage system. You can actually connect to it, you can get data from it. In Power BI, you can say, get data from CDS, from Common Data Services, but you cannot do that with CDM. Now, CDS stores the data behind the scene. It works with a lot of um, technologies to do that, but the main thing is that this is a data storage technology which you can work with it. The reason that CDM is built is um, to create a unified shared model, let's say a unified data model experience across different applications, different database systems, instead of you having like 20, 50 different version of customer table in each application, there is a version of customer table. Each of those versions has a set of fields which might not be exactly the same in the other tables. Uh, instead of having totally different experience in each application, uh, CDM is offering one unified model that here, this is my customer table, this is my product table, this is how this table looks like, these are all the columns in that table, and all other applications would be able to understand it, write data into it, or read data from it, uh, from that structure, not from the database system behind the scene of that, right? So the purpose, the purpose is to create that unified data model experience. Versus in CDS, CDS is built to give the citizen app developer the easy to use experience of a database system. Who is citizen app developer? Someone who is using Power Apps, Power Automate, um, some Power Platform uh, products to create a business application. This person, uh, 
will not necessarily knows about um, a database system like SQL Server that might be too advanced for such a user. So this user needs a database system which can store the data, but still it's easy to use. Like the Power Apps itself, someone who creates a Power App application doesn't necessarily go and write C-sharp code for that. It creates it in a simple to use graphical interface. Now, same thing is available with CDS. CDS is a simple to use graphical interface uh, database system that behind the scene uses quite a lot of advanced technologies like Azure SQL DB, Cosmos DB, blob storage, things like that. But all of that is abstract from the citizen app developer so that person can go and build applications using this database, this data storage system easily. Right, So that is the difference between these two. CDM is more a metadata structure defined for a unified model. CDS is a data storage system. Um, this doesn't mean that they are not working with each other. In CDS, like many other data storage systems, if you want to have a unified model experience, you would use CDM as your metadata structure. Right, But understanding the difference is important. Uh, I highly recommend you to read the two blog articles linked down in the description below from my article related to this uh, to learn more about CDS and CDM. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.